guys welcome back to testing basics thank you so much for watching this is the long awaited white t-shirt testing basics thank you so much for your patience with me when filming this one i've done 10 t-shirts in this so it's taken me quite a long time to get through them all um now yeah they're all plain white t-shirts they're all crew neck they're all short sleeve they're all in a size small or equivalent of so like a uk8 or a european 36 or whatever all a size small the price margin of this is relatively narrow now the reasoning for that is that most brands t-shirts price comes at a similar point all they're all like around the 10 to 20 pound mark and i was going to do a really expensive one and ordered a really expensive one this one from james purse which i ordered off selfridges which was a whopping 75 pounds i don't know if you can see that there um and i'm sending this back i'm not reviewing this one i'll tell you about it now but I'm not reviewing it because it is see-through and frankly feels like the worst of them all. The cheapest one we have is $3.99 and this feels cheap as a touch. So I don't want to wear it and wash it and then not be able to return it when I know this is just not worth that much money. So I wanted to mention it in this capacity and just say do not go and spend £75 on this t-shirt. Um, and just to also show you that I had bought an expensive one but the reasoning behind is not having a really huge price range like I normally would. So the most expensive one is now going to be £35 instead. So everything in this video is really affordable. And basically, yeah, I don't recommend James Purse t-shirts or going to spend £75 on something. I hope that you can see this. It's just like thin, cheap, see-through, just not nothing special at all. And I'm sure it'll just be 100% cotton. 100% Supima cotton. Nearly all of them are 100% cotton that we have here. So that's that. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try them all on now with them on, just tell you the sizing, the fabric material, the brand, and the price. The first impression segment is going to come as I've been wearing them all. I wanted to try and make this video as short as possible. So to avoid any repetition, I'm not talking about my first impressions now. Also, I've been wearing them already, so it wouldn't be first impressions. Um, and instead we'll go and as I'm wearing as I've worn each of them I've given you my first impressions throughout the, the past two weeks that I've been filming this and then as always I'm going to wash them all together all in an identical wash and then we shall come together at the end and see which one we think is the winner but yeah we've got 10 t-shirts here so this is going to be quite fast snappy informative for this section okay for this try I'm going to show you them all untucked because I've been wearing them tucked in throughout the week so that you see the difference um, I'm not going to wear a bra throughout this video because I never wear a bra anyway and um, so that's how I would wear them going forward in real life but also then it's going to be a complete level playing field and how they look and how they feel. Can we just not make any comments about the fact I'm not wearing a bra? This is an informative video and the fact that sometimes you can see my nipples for a video does no way negate, change or influence that information in any way. So I just wanted to acknowledge it in terms of how we're making this an even review and leave it there. So. First up is H&M. This is their 3.99 t-shirt. This is in a size small. This is 95% cotton and 5% elastane from their divided range. And this one was requested quite a lot for me to review because it's 3.99 and H&M is sort of known for having a lot of t-shirts at that price point. Um, so yes, H&M, £3.99 in a size small, 95% cotton, 5% elastane. Moving up one is ASOS. This was £6, it's 100% cotton and I have this in a UK sized eight. Excuse this very, very, very boxy posing. I literally feel like I look like an emoji or a sim waiting to be dressed or picked or something. Um, but yeah, ASOS, size eight, six pounds 100 percent cotton is our next one do a quick spin 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 and next we're one up again we're on weekday now at eight pounds also 100 percent cotton in a size small where possible if the t-shirts obviously the specific ones will be linked in the description box some of them have specific names to them this one has a name i can't remember it right now um, but where possible I will link the names, mention the names in the description box or on the screen now as well so that you, if you're going in store you know which ones to ask for as opposed to shopping online. So yeah, weekday £8, size small. And next up onto Uniqlo, this is from the Uniqlo U range, it was £9.90. Um, it is a size small and it's also 100% cotton. Uh, Uniqlo U is definitely available on store and in line. <laughs> I guess I said that wrong, in store and online. So yeah, Uniqlo, £9.90, 100% cotton, size small. Okay, we're at the halfway point here. This is Topshop. 
this was £10, is in a size small and is, um, oh sorry no this is, they call this a size extra small small so they do them, this t-shirt in brackets so then it was medium to large I think for small medium next. This is extra small to small and is 100% cotton. Top shop, £10. Oh, they're all going to be covered in makeup now after this as well. This one is very oversized as we can see I'm a bit closer as well yeah top this was top shop that's number five <laughs> next is this selected femme this was highly requested as a brand uh this was 15 pounds size small also 100 percent cotton it's a brand that i think is completely new to me i don't think i've had anything from them before uh, but this specific t-shirt came up a lot so that's selected firm i just don't know why i'm doing this sympose i'm really sorry i'm trying to make it as boxy and as unflattering as possible for them all so you can like really see the shape before you see them styled up throughout the rest of it but i'm sort of walking like a robot to do it um selected firm 15 pounds 100 cotton size small okay coming in at the exact same price point we have cos here this is also in a size small also 15 pounds also 100 percent cotton and let's just go quickly go back to the simpose so that you can see how identical they all are and how difficult this is going to be to differentiate from them all so that was cos 15 pounds size small oh no wait their sizing never says small what their sizing is will be written correctly on the screen now this might actually say size 36 as opposed to a small so listen to what's written on the screen here but the cos 100% cotton 15 pounds okay we've got everlane here uh now this is in dollars so it was 16 dollars so i've put it in the price in this price bag for what i paid for it but it would convert to a bit less in pounds but then the shipping is more because it's coming from america so i'm kind of confident that it needs to be in position number eight price wise even though we're in a different currency but yeah this is everlane this is um also a size small and 100 percent cotton and Everlane is obviously a sustainable and ethical brand. Um, the others are not. So yeah, Everlane, $16. I will write the conversion on the screen now, but do bear in mind shipping if you're UK based. If you're America based, I'm not sure what their shipping's like. Uh, $16, size small, 100% cotton. Right, second from the top, price-wise, we're at And Other Stories. This is £23. I have a size 36 six which is the size i always go for in there and it's also 100 percent cotton surprise surprise it's only been the um h m one which isn't 100 percent cotton and i think from me trying it on and through the fit of it you can see the difference the elastane makes it is kind of a t-shirt that's meant to be a bit different i would say because of that um anyway yeah this was under the stories 23 pounds size 36 100 percent cotton last one now and our final most expensive one is Arquette this was 35 pounds um, I have this I forgot to check the size on the label it's the size small equivalent again it'll be written on oh yeah it is a size small European small and it is god their labels are complicated but very aesthetically pleasing but not helping me right now this is oh 96% cotton 4% elastane this is £35. Now, Arquette do do a cheaper t-shirt. Haven't always gone for what the cheapest t-shirt is available. And um, they do have a more basic one, um, which I can't remember the price of it, but just to make that clear, but I really wanted to test this one out. And I'd be interested to know if you can tell at this point already which ones you guys think look and feel similar. I can tell, but I don't know if that's because it's on my skin. Um, but this is very similar to one of the ones we've tried on earlier in terms of how it feels um so yeah this was arquette 35 pounds 96 percent cotton 4 percent elastic so similar composition to the cheapest one interesting mm -hmm. um and yeah that's all of them we're now just going to go straight to the next segment of me wearing them throughout the past couple of weeks before we do final reviews hey guys i've had on the uniqlo top today i've had it on day and night in two different outfits as i've transitioned from day to night um, for the evening, I've had on my system denim jeans, Church's brogues, the Uniqlo white t-shirt, an Arquette silk shirt, and Andrew the Stories blazer. Now let me delay her so we can discuss the t-shirt. 
So, as I said at the beginning of this, I got them all in a size small for ease of comparison, which doesn't necessarily mean it's the perfect size, if that makes sense. So I, my recommendation for this is that if you've got big boobs, size up, just because it's really tight, not uncomfortably tight, I've not been noticing it, but it is tight, and tighter than I'd like aesthetically, I'd say, through the sleeves and under the armpits, but it's because it pulls over my boobs. So if you're flat chested, true to size, bigger boobs, 100% size up. Now, I like this enough to say that I'd go and purchase it again in a medium. I think it's good enough to warrant me spending the money twice. Um, I think that it's really nice thick cotton. I love the ribs neckline of it. And it's a thick cotton without being stiff in the sense that it's got a texture to it. This is just the best way that I can describe it. Your nipples wouldn't rub on this t-shirt. That's like something that Lynn's messaged me about a t-shirt the other day. And it's such a good way to think of a certain t-shirt. And sometimes with the really stiff cotton ones, which are aesthetically what I love, that can sometimes be a bit uncomfortable if you're not a bra wearer like I am. And also, as I said, I'm not going to wear a bra throughout this video. Just that, again, that we're comparing them so, so perfectly closely as we can. Um, so yeah, I think it's got a great structure to it. It's really nice and soft while being really thick. I love the collar on it. I wish the sleeves were a bit bigger and just a bit longer. But I think going size up would do that perfectly for me. And if you were flatter chested, you would feel like you just have more space here than I do anyway. So that's my advice on this. Really, really love it as a t-shirt. It's all coming down to the thickness and the, how the fabric feels that makes this one so good. So definitely recommend and would purchase in a medium. Hey, hey, hey guys. I am just going to raise you up a bit higher. I've had on today the Selected Fem One. A very similar outfit to what I had on last night actually. I'm sort of we're just running errands today. So I've had on church sprogues, weekday jeans, and this overshirt from Under the Stories leather one, and then the Selected Fem t-shirt. Now, to compare this closely to the Uniqlo one, because that's what we did yesterday, sizing-wise, the small of this fits me better than the Uniqlo. It definitely has more space under the armpits. I think if you've got big boobs, you could still go for a small. It creases more because the cotton is definitely thinner than the, under, uh, than the Uniqlo one. I haven't been ironing any of them, but this definitely has more creasing in it. Um, it is sl feels slightly softer, but I think that's just, again, because it's a slightly thinner cotton. But the texture of it is almost identical, just thinner. As in, the other stories one, like I said, doesn't have that starchiness to it or anything like that, but still manages to be thick. Um, the collar on this is also really nice, but the, the, uh, the Uniqlo, I keep saying the wrong word, the Uniqlo one that we compared it to is um, slightly like thicker on the neckline than this is. I don't know if, if that's going to make much sense, but they've both got a nice ribbed neckline, but the Uniqlo one was just a bit chunkier and felt like more of a feature with it. Um, but all in all, I think this is a really great t-shirt. Overall, I would yes say it's comfier and it fits slightly more oversized than Uniqlo, definitely. It's like longer through the body as well. so. Uh, probably a better sizing for me because of having big boobs. If I have to say which one I prefer, I think the Uniqlo one, just through the thickness of the cotton, feels a bit nicer, but that is down to my personal preference of what I like in a t-shirt. This, I think, is a really good fit to it and is really soft and everything too. Spin around, I'm spinning around, and now you can see. I've had on the Topshop one today, it's been fashion week, I've had on my Gucci love for White jeans from weekday, a cardigan from Uniqlo, a jacket from Le Mer, and the Topshop t-shirt. This one is a lot bigger than the rest. Does bigger mean better? In some cases potentially, but maybe not in a white t-shirt. Um, it is very, very, very boxy, which I really like. It's been very comfortable. Uh, Feel-wise, it is, it is um, like a Similar thickness to the Uniqlo one, I'd say, but it's not got the same smoothness to it. It has a slightly rougher texture, but I think because of the oversizedness, it is still very, 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 very comfy. Um, I almost feel like I haven't bought one from there that's as similar as the other two that I've worn because the bagginess makes me hard. It makes it hard for me to compare the fit in the same way uh, because it's meant to be oversized, basically. But I really like it. It's been great tucked into jeans because of the shape, and as I said, really, really comfortable. 
um, the neckline is nice and stuff. Again, the Uniqlo one sort of has better detailing on it for things like this, but I think this is a really, really, really good white t-shirt. And I think one, you know, just to wear like this in spring and summer with white jeans or normal denim jeans, the bagginess of it and the slight details of like the pinned sleeves, while this maybe gives it an unfair advantage because it's not identical to the others, is something which I think is a nice little added extra, styling wise. Hey guys, I've had on the Everlane t-shirt today, just under this jumper, the rest of the outfit, which is a hair clip, is the Massimo Duty um, jacket, a jumper from Jigsaw, and the stories like the trousers, Gucci loafers, belt uh, of vestiaire, vintage Chanel. Um, this, I'll be honest, I'm struggling with comparing everything in this video. They're so incredibly similar. And it's like, the price is all so similar. It's, it's so hard to, to know what details to focus on. So this one um, feels the most similar to the Selected Femme one so far, I would say. The, the only one that's standing out is, diff is really different to the rest. The Topshop one in terms of its fit and the Uniqlo one in terms of its thickness and the feel of it. Um, this is a really much, um, I'm going to crouch down in front of you, a much lighter weight fabric than the Uniqlo one. Like I said, it's probably actually, this one probably feels the thinnest so far, if I'm honest. And we're off again, sorry about that. So yes, and um, this one probably feels like the thinnest out of all the ones that I've tried so far and probably the least expensive basically it feels like because it's thin do excuse how tired i look right now um but yeah it's a great t-shirt but i wouldn't say and you know everything obviously always gets brownie points for the fact it's sustainable but this especially compared to the quality of some of the other pieces i've got from them isn't standing out as anything spectacular whatsoever um yeah not no wow factor to this one i would say it would definitely um, I would definitely recommend the Uniqlo one more for sure. And this one still feels different to the H&M one because the H&M one is so much tighter and has more stretch in it. Um, but it just, just doesn't feel particularly luxurious in any way, I would say. Hey guys, had on the Arquette t-shirt today, which is the most expensive one. Um, I've just been out for I've had it on all day with various outfits, like comfy outfits this morning. But I've done it in the Gucci loafers. You know me, when I find something I like, I really just stick with it for a while. Hence these being on so constantly. Uh, weekday Seattle jeans, my sleeveless ray blazer, Uniqlo cashmere cardigan. Now, 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 now. This is the most similar to, oh, I just knocked over one of the laps. We're doing that, what an absolute calamity. Thankfully, there's no casualties there. Um, now, this is the most similar to the Uniqlo one in terms of how it feels. The texture is almost identical. I would say it feels a tad thicker. It does feel a bit more expensive, but I don't know if it warrants the, remind me, is it £20 price difference that we've got? Which isn't a huge sum of money, but within this video it is, because all of our price range is so tight. Um, so yeah, texture-wise, it's definitely the most similar to the Uniqlo one. It's got a really similar neckline to it. Um, the sleeves are much better. They're much longer sleeved. It's not got the same tightness over the boobs and everything like the Uniqlo one did. Um, so the fit of it is better. Um, yes, I would gladly spend £35 on this t-shirt, basically. Um, I think if you are flatter chested or if I got a medium in the Uniqlo one, I would go for that one over it, but that's not to say that I don't think this one feels like it's worth the money, um, but it is incredibly similar to the Uniqlo one. These two are standing out the most as something that feels more special, but I think it is just the smoothness of the fabric. It's simultaneously soft while structured without being rough, um, which is a really nice texture basically. Um, and the long sleeves on this, I think in summer, means I'm gonna wear it more. Like I said, I could go and get the Uniqlo one in a medium or a large and go and get the men's one. But for the purpose of this video, comparing each of the ones I've got in a size small, I think I'm gonna end up wearing this going forward. However, because they're so similar, Uniqlo gets my recommendation overall, because I don't think there's a difference enough to warrant what is making this the most expensive one in this video but it doesn't mean that I wouldn't spend £35 on it. That's such a conflicting review, but I really hope that makes some sense. 
basically, I think this is a great t-shirt. Yes, I think it's worth £35, but it's up against, up against some tough competition, and I think you could save £20 and still have a similar styling and t-shirt experience. Um, but yeah, obviously recommend the Gucci loafers as well. These are coming out like the most recommended thing in this bloody video. Hey guys, today I've had on the Cos t-shirt. I've been wearing it with Uniqlo cashmere cardigan, sneaky layer, toe to linen jacket, jigsaw trousers, and my purchased robes. I did have a belt on, but frankly just got too uncomfortable throughout the day. Um, very much like this t-shirt, and um, this is hard, this video, I know I keep saying it, but every day I'm like, ugh, what, ugh, I don't know what to say about them. This one feels different to the Arquette and the Andal Stories, sorry, the Arquette and the Uniqlo one. It's thinner than the Topshop one, it's nicer than the H&M one. What other ones have I even worn? Um, it's probably quite similar to the Selected Femme one, actually. It has quite a nice smooth texture to it. Um, no, Lens is texting me. Quite smooth texture to it. It's a very classic fit. I think the small fits really well, really true to size. Um, I actually think this is a very nice, like, basic fitting t-shirt, but similar to the Selected Femme one, I would say. Uh, Neckline nice and thick, but not as like chunky feeling as the Uniqlo and Arquette, but it's kind of in keeping with the thickness of the rest of the t-shirt. It's very soft. It's not too see-through, but more see-through than some of the others. Um, yeah, I really like it. I really like it. Um, I recommend this one as well. This is so difficult. So difficult. I think I'm going to, because obviously this is the first impression as well as I'm trying one of these on. So I'm hoping that once I'm good. Basically, what I'm going to do is edit this section of the video before I film my, film my final thoughts to refresh my memory of them all. And then hopefully this final section of this is going to be a bit more concise. But these are all so similar. So at this rate, I'm just going to recommend not the H&M one, but the one up from that in terms of whichever's cheapest. That's like how I see this going because they're all so similar. So what's the point of spending a pound more or a penny more than you need to? Apart from if it was Uniqlo or Arquette. Ah! Hey guys, excuse the fact I look like very rough today. I'm just having one of those rough days. Um, I have on the Andal Stories one today, just with an Andal Stories cardigan and my toe to toe jeans. Had on some band slip ons earlier and just barefoot around the house. Um, now, I very much like this t shirt, like with all the others. I've just been refreshing my memory of the prices of them all, and this is the second most expensive one. And I think it's actually far too similar to the COS one, the weekday one. They're all part of the same group as well. These are all part of the H&M group. Um, for it to warrant the price difference between it. I do think comparing this to the Arquette one, the Arquette one does feel a lot more expensive. So the higher price point of that does feel more um, justified than this one compared to all of the other ones. Um, I do really like the sleeve length. It's got a nice oversized fit to it even though this is a size 8 and it's a really soft and lovely t-shirt but it does feel quite similar to like I said the Cos one um, maybe less so the weekday one the weekday one feels a little bit more structured but like the selected femme one which and they're both £15 um, so yeah not basically this one I don't really see why this is £23 compared to those other ones so yeah and the story is not getting the most shiny review which is absolutely you know, I'm so not expected from the stories. You guys have like the biggest fan of that brand. Um, but yeah, I just don't see why this one needs to be um, £12 more. No, that was the wrong maths. £15, £8 more. And we're talking, you know, really small amounts of money here, but I need to be this picky with it. Um, I don't see why it's £8 more than some of the other ones, but still the t shirt all the same. Hello guys, I'm dressed like a slob. Just um, running around this morning in rouge jeans, Gucci loafers, and the stories jumper, and H&M t-shirt. This one is very different to the rest. It is a much stretchier, skinnier material. Now aesthetically, that makes me like it less. Like I've said several times throughout this video by then, I do prefer a looser fitting kind of style of t-shirt. Um, but that's not to say that there isn't a place for this sort of t-shirt within the wardrobe. I think it's a really good 
layering piece. Um, if you've got boobs, it is going to stretch over your boobs quite a bit, as you can see. Um, I've not got a bra on, as always, uh, but this would be hard t-shirt to wear a bra with anyway. You're either going to see your nipples if you don't, or you're going to see the outline of a bra unless you have a really good t-shirt bra. Um, so yeah, this one is probably my least favourite. This is also the cheapest one. This was $3.99. And because of the tightness of it, it makes me feel like it looks the cheapest. But I do also think H&M have, I think this is the cheapest one they do and this one was specifically requested for me to review. Uh, but maybe if I had like a size large in this, it would make me not feel like it looks as cheap. It is literally just the tightness in my um, perception of a t-shirt when it fits like this, which isn't necessarily what you guys are all going to think as well. Um, but yeah, like I said, I think it's a good piece to have in your wardrobe for a layering piece. I think that I wish the neckline was a bit tighter and closer because then I would get a lot more wear about it as a layering top to put under like crew neck jumpers and things. The neck's a bit too scooby to show up over a jumper. Um, so yeah, while it would be the layering piece again, aesthetically for me, it kind of isn't ticking that box. Um, so yeah, what's the next one up from there? H and one again. I have my list here. Uh, $3.99. Oh, ASOS, we've not worn that one yet, but six pounds for a two pound difference. So it'll be interesting to see whether that makes it feel like a different t-shirt. Um, but yeah, sizing tips, if you've got big boobs, I go a size up. I've got a small hair but I should have got medium because they're a better fit. Um, and yeah, like I'm saying, aesthetically this one doesn't tick the boxes for me. Uh, but the fabric is really nice, it's just got a lot more stretch in it than the other ones. Um, but it wouldn't feel that way if it wasn't so tight as well. Hey guys, I've had on the um, weekday t-shirt today. Sorry, the blazer is from Arquette that I've just got on a cashmere hoodie. I've sort of just been slumming about. Um, a cashmere hoodie which is from Philip K. Jeans from weekday. Bros from churches. Um, my belt and my vintage Chanel one. And then the oh, weekday t shirt, which um, I'm honestly losing the will with this because it's so similar to the Cos one, similar to the End of the Stories one, but I think I prefer the neckline of this one. So similar to the Cos one that I recommend this one over it because it's cheaper. ASOS is the other one I've not done. Nice, it's nice than the H&M one, not as thick as the Uniqlo or the Arquette one. Very similar to the Selected Femme ones. So again, I'd recommend this more because it's cheaper. Um, so yeah, I think this one, the Uniqlo and Arquette are kind of in a category themselves in some ways, which you're probably telling throughout this video, in terms of all the others, which are very similar. So far, I'd say this one's a winner. It fits really well, the sleeves are a nice length, the neckline's lovely. And it's cheaper than all the others. That's the two coming in at fifteen pounds. Nicer than the other leg one. Yeah, it's really hard to judge though. But this one I really like. It feels like the rest, and it's a bit cheaper. So, um, and it does have the nice ribs neckline that we keep talking about. Oh god, and it fell over then. Me knee just went. Did you see that jiggle? Um, yeah, the um, it's just a nice fit and everything. Taking all the boxes, basically. So yeah, weekday, I'm into it. I'm very much into these jeans and the Seattle ones, by the way. Okay guys, the last t-shirt is this ASOS one, which does have a toothpaste down it, so that's nice. At least we can see how it washes and see if it washes off. Um, but yeah, similarly to everything I've been saying for the past few days, this is a nice t-shirt. It feels like the weekday one, it feels like the Endless Stories one, it feels like the Selected Femme one. That whole category are all incredibly similar, so I'm just going to stop repeating myself now. Put them in the wash. In some aspects, hope to God that one shrinks drastically, so that I have some clear idea at the end of this video as to what I want to say. If not, I'm going to have to go away and think about it, because this is such a, they're all so similar, it's so di difficult to differentiate from them all. Um, but yeah, this is in the ASOS one. I just had all my totem jeans and church's brogues. Um, really casual and simple. And that is the last t-shirt. If I never see a white t-shirt again, it'll be too soon. Okay guys, we are now at the end. I have washed every single t-shirt. Unfortunately, none of them fell apart in the wash. And I say unfortunately because it would have given me a really clear distinction between some of them, which is what I'm struggling with at the moment. This has been the hardest testing base I've ever done for this reason. It has been such a level playing field. The price range has been quite narrow. The fact it's a white t-shirt, there's not much disparity between them all anyway. It has been so 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 hard and even going through them now I am struggling 
Um, I've just re-watched the whole thing of what I've edited up to this point, trying to look at like how they fit, how, and they're so similar, like some are slightly more oversized, the Topshop one's got a bit more going on with it, but then kind of gives it an unfair advantage. Some of the sleeves look a bit nicer, but that's such personal preference. Um, and a sizing thing, it's so difficult, and they all basically, styling wise, will do the same thing. And the H&M one is the only one that is a little bit different, and like I said during the video, I feel like it's meant to be a bit different. But I am going to review it in line with all the others, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I've done my best to order them, but my general thing is that if there's a brand that you've seen in this, that you feel like you have a particular brand loyalty to, for whatever reason, like if you find that Angela's little story is always fits you, your body type great, or... Um, Everlane always fits your body type great or you are consciously shopping sustainably or something then go with which whatever one your brand loyalty lies with because they're all great there's been nothing wrong with any of them really and um, they've all washed fine they would all I think last well um yeah there's none that I'm like apart from the James Purse one which we've talked about at the beginning um, so yeah, I have put them in order, uh, but that is my general review, if there's a brand loyalty, um, and then I'm going to sort of go straight against that, because I've actually put the And of the Stories one in the last place. Um, you guys know how much I absolutely adore And of the Stories as a brand, it's my favourite high street brand, hands down, this jumper's And of the Stories actually, um, and I wear it all of the time, and just absolutely adore it. Um, and there's nothing wrong with this t-shirt whatsoever, the fit of it is great, it's really nice and soft. Um, texture wise I'm like feeling them all at once now there's not there's not one that stands out as incredibly soft um, and normally if it would it would be because it's not my kind of a t-shirt it would make it kind of a lot looser and have a bit less structure to it um, I think previously I've done t-shirts where like Ameri you use an American vintage one where it's almost like a slub t-shirt which isn't my I don't like that so they do all feel really similar and they're all soft and comfortable as is this one, the fit is great, I like the kind of bigger sleeves, it's boxy and everything, it's a really great t-shirt, it was just up against ones which are also really great, that were £8 and not £23, now, and the story is, is marketed obviously as a higher price brand than like Weekday, even though they're part of the same group, and H&M and things, um, but yeah, for this one I sort of thought, I don't know why you'd want to feel like you had to go and spend um, £8 more than on, the, on some of the others. So I think for the first time ever, And of the Stories is coming in last place. Um, but yeah, I still love you, And of the Stories. <laughs> um, I just don't think you need to go spend £23 on the t-shirt. Second to last place is gonna be the H&M one. Um, these are the 3.99 t-shirts, and I also wanna make it clear that I'm not getting rid of any of these t-shirts. Believe me, I'm aware of the excess of the fact I've got so many, but in the summer, a, high, a white t-shirt is high on rotation for me. And I will wear them all equally. So like even though I've just put the end of the stories one in last place, you will see me wear it again. And it will be tagged on my Instagram and in YouTube videos. I'm going to wear them all again, which is why I do recommend them all, if this makes sense. Um, including this H&M one, which I'm going to use more as a layering piece between now and when it gets a little bit warmer. Because it's got that elastane in it and it makes it a lot tighter. Um, if you like a tight look or like maybe slightly more flat chested so it looks a little bit less stretched over your boobs then stick for a small, but I think I should go for a size up personally. But the skinniness of it, it just makes it a really good layering piece. But because of how it looks, it's not a piece that I necessarily want to wear on its own, which is how I feel about all of the other ones, because they just have a nicer fit on my body type. Um, and yeah, it's got the stretch in it, which the others just don't have in the same way. So yeah, I'm going to put H&M in that, in that place for that reason. But for 3 99 I think it's a really, really, really brilliant t-shirt. Um, and you can just buy loads of them and like, wear them to bed. Because even though it's quite tight, it's still soft and comfy. Um, so you could wear them around the house. And for 3 99 that's I think that's like, just such a good piece to go and bulk buy if you needed to. And get them in different colours. But aesthetically, it was not my favourite one, like I said, when I was wearing it. Um, in next place, I just realised I'd never... This was gifted to me. I didn't tell you the ones which were gifted at the beginning. I'll write it in the description box so it's really clear. This was gifted, those two I bought. The Arquette one was gifted and unfortunately it's coming in seventh place. Um, again, similar to the end of the stories one, it was 35 pounds and I just think that there's other ones that were really great which were a lot less than that. Um, equally, it does feel more expensive than the rest. It feels thicker, the texture of it. I'm just gonna hold it up to the, um, really close to you with the, this is the Andal the Stories one, this is the Arquette one, and I think you can see the smooth texture 
of the Arquette one quite nicely. So they just they just feel like a step up in quality with it. Um, so it's kind of like I don't. I understand why it costs more, but ultimately from doing this video, I don't think you need to go and spend more on a white t-shirt to get what you need out of a white t-shirt, basically. Um, so, and it's also very similar to the Uniqlo one in how the texture is and how it feels, which we're gonna come to that one later. Um, if there hadn't been the Uniqlo in this, this would have definitely gotten bumped up a lot higher because like I said, it does feel a lot more expensive, but I don't know that I would repurchase a 35 pound t-shirt from Marquette, or I didn't buy this myself, but I don't know if I would now knowing how many different ones there are. In next place is going to be the Everlane one, which I'm kind of upset about because um, I love Everlane as a brand. I've got quite a few things from them and I do really, really like them and they're a great brand and they're sustainable and all that good stuff. Um, this one just kind of looked, especially when I was watching it back, the fit of it was not as nice and being so picky because it was just basically because it was a bit shorter in the body. So when I was watching it, I was like, oh, that kind of doesn't look as nice as some of the other ones. But when I was wearing it on the day, it still felt like it looked completely fine. Um, but it does have a slightly scratchier texture to the rest. Ever, ever, ever so slightly. Um, so yeah, Everlane's going to come in that place. I hope you guys can see how difficult this is because the reasons that I'm having to rank everything are like minuscule reasons. Um, in that was sixth place. So in fifth place, I've put ASOS. This was six pounds, so I was like two pounds more than the H&M one. Um, and it has a different look to it to the H&M one. Two pounds less than the weekday one. Um, oh god, the similarity between these is just ridiculous. This, the weekday one's a tiny bit softer. The weekday one I've just got here. Yeah, a tiny bit softer. It's a different texture to the H&M one because of the last day, like I've discussed. Um, things like the neckline on this one aren't quite as nice as on some of the others. And I was talking about that quite a lot at the beginning of me wearing them. Um, and then that, that the discussion of details sort of waned as I was waning throughout this video. Um, but yeah, the neckline on it's kind of not as nice and chunky as some of the others with the crew necks. Um, the sleeves are a little bit more like a capped sleeve than a nice big sleeve like I was talking about on the Under the Stories one. Which I've placed lower down than this so now I'm like this doesn't make any sense. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to stick with this. ASOS is in fifth place. For no particular reason, it seems. I put Topshop in fourth place. I do kind of feel like this one wasn't really fair to compare. When I, I got this in store, I bought this in store, um, and when I went in the shop, this was the like in their basics area. This was the basic white t-shirt, but then it doesn't feel as basic as all of the other brands' basic white t-shirts. Um, but I think I'm going to wear this a lot in the summer. I really like the boxiness. I really like how oversized it is. Really nice thick cotton to it as well like they all are um, but it feels a slight a slightly more like structured starchy cotton I suppose and um, so it does have a kind of have a different look for it for that um, although maybe it should lose some points for the fact it's got bracketed sizing like extra small to small that's not great is it I prefer to have it like a specific size so maybe actually I should have pushed this down a few pegs for that because the rest of them have been like quite good sizing wise and Nowadays, is there any need for bracketed sizing? It's like Brandy Melville, the fact they do one size only drives me mental. Um, so in third and fourth, no, fourth and third place, I've put Cos and Selected Femme. They are just nearly bloody identical. But I thought that I'd put Selected Femme up one because I made a statement in the beginning of the video that was incorrect, that said that Everlane was the only sustainable brand in this. Obviously, Arquette is making big steps towards sustainability and they're quite open with their, their supply chain. Um, and I got an email yesterday about Selected Femme and now, um, I can't remember what the percentage was, it was something like 50% sustainable on, on their range that they have and they're pushing that more and more, so they're also a brand that's going in the right direction with it. So the statement that I made at the beginning saying Everlane was the only brand who was sustainable was incorrect. Um, but these are near identical but because this um, Selected Firm is a sustainable brand, or going in the direction of, I thought that I'd give that a higher ranking than the Cos one, um, but they are both incredibly similar. Um, and actually, I think if you handed me them and I closed my eyes, I wouldn't be able to tell any difference. I'm trying to look for detailing now. The finishing on the cos, like the stitches maybe look a bit nicer, but the sleeves are the same. Um, the cos sleeves are a tiny bit longer. Can you see that there? Teeny tiny bit longer. Um, uh, but like fit, the fit wise is pretty much the same. So yeah, um, I would say I'm going to put slats if I'm above it for the reasons I just stated, but they're both really good t-shirts. I think £15. They're both really good for £15, and I would recommend them both. Um, so that was Cos and Selected Femme, 
Um, and yeah, I th I, the selected film was sent to me as well. That was the only other one that was sent to me. Everything else I'd bought. Um, and I think it's online. I don't think they've got shops. So if you liked the look of these one, but you need to go in and try it on, then go for the Cos one instead. Because I'm not sure if they have any sh physical shops. Um, very loud ringing noise. In second place, that leaves me with the Uniqlo one. This was a pretty front runner throughout, but I've not given it the first place because I feel like the sizing's a bit off and the sizing on the rest is really consistent. I think you need to size up on this if you've got big boobs especially. The fact that it made it kind of tight under my armpits wasn't ideal. I should have put this lower for that because this is the only one that's been in any way. It wasn't uncomfortable, but it didn't have that nice oversized sleeve look to it. So... Um, I have size up, but I think the main thing is that the fact is I have 10 t-shirts here, white identical t-shirts, and yet I love this one enough that I would go and get it in a medium so that it had the perfect fit. I'm going to hold this one up to the next to the Arquette one, and then hopefully you can kind of just see how incredibly similar the textures are. Almost identical. Um, and like the neckline on this, the chunkiness, it's just a thick, really, really, really great white t-shirt. Um, and like I said, I would 100% go and get it in a medium so that it's the perfect fit for me, despite having enough white t-shirts to set up a white t-shirt shop. And it leaves me in first place with weekday. Um, don't really have a strong reason for putting it here. It was £8 and I thought, gosh, that's so good. That's under £10. That's such a good price. Um, it does feel a bit softer and a bit nicer than the ASOS one, which was closest to it in price. It's more classic than the Topshop one, which you know, ASOS and the Topshop have £2 either side of this. Um, yeah, felt more um, nice than the Topshop one, is more consistent with sizing than the Topshop one like we just suggested. The fit of it is great, it's still got a really like nice neckline to it that's a bit thicker and a bit more um, ribbed and just feels nicer than the ASOS one, so it does feel nicer than the ASOS one too. Um, it very, 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 very similar to the Cos and the Selected Femme one, but yeah, it is a little bit more expensive, a little bit cheaper, and also very similar to the End of the Stories one. This. Cause Selected Femme and Other Stories ones. The Everlane one has a slightly different feel to it. Those four ASOS as well, they're so incredibly similar. So this is what I mean, like go with where your brand loyalty lies. But I've opted for weekday in first place. Um, I hope that's been somewhat helpful. I have this awful feeling it hasn't been because um, they basically, it seems like brands are just smashing the white t-shirt sector. And so they should, how can you get it wrong? It's just an essential piece in any wardrobe. So. I, I won't part ways. So, sorry, the camera battery just died, so I can't remember where I last was. I just had a cup of tea while that recharged, and I recharged. But I just wanted to end this on reiterating that um, you will see all of these t-shirts on me again. I now obviously have a lot of white t-shirts. I'm confident I can keep wearing them all throughout the summer. Um, but there's none that I'm like, oh, I really don't recommend. It's been really hard to stagger them. Um, I hope this is helpful in some way. If there's one that you felt looked nicer in any way, then you guys go for that one. Links for everything in the description box. As I said, the Arquette and the Selected Fair ones were sent to me. Everything else I bought. Um, and that's kind of covering everything. I don't think I'm going to be in a rush to do another testing basics with 10 items anytime soon. More than anything, by the time you get to the 10th, I'm like, I can't remember what I said about the first one now. It's just so long. Anyway, um, I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.